Hi, this is Tom McMillan with the Lead One Bite of the Week. It's been more than a decade since the first case of chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, was reported in a former NFL player. Since then, there's been much scientific progress around this neurodegenerative disease. But the biggest advance is when we'll be able to test and diagnose CTE in the living in a few years. There are lots of unknowns and misconceptions about this disease because it can only be detected after death. For the sport of football, such a real-time test could be a watershed moment because it would give players and families real-time results, affording them the time to intervene with treatment or just walk away from the sport. The NBA pioneered preventative testing in 2006 when they began to require cardiac screening in response to player deaths. The NBA decision to mandate cardiac screening has brought awareness to health conditions previously undiagnosed in its players. You may remember when Isaiah Austin, the former Baylor star, was found in an NBA pre-draft medical testing to have Marfan syndrome, a connective tissue disorder which can affect the heart and eyes. Although Isaiah could not pursue an NBA career due to this diagnosis, we're grateful for these tests because they revealed a condition that possibly saved his life. The ability to detect CTE in the living will be a great win for player safety and a game changer in the way contact sports are managed. And that is our Bite of the Week.